welcome back to the M4 learning channel so as promised on the previous video we're now going to do the trend driver so we're going to add the trend driver in so first of all I'll give you some information who I use I use an Italian company it's you've got to pay for the trend driver I use this because I think this for me is the best driver um, it can search all the trend points uh, no problem at all and can bring them all in so quick link solutions is who I use for the trend driver and um, I'm using this on a Mac 36 now so I'm not using it on a, a Jace 8000 and it's just giving you some information how to set it up but what we'll do is we'll install the driver and the data sheet well you can get that I presume from Quick Link Solutions website um, let me see if I can find their website for you let me just put you on pause so here you have their website Quick Link Solutions I'll let you go through their website so it's uh, qlsol.com it's a website address and then you can have a look at that but uh, what we'll do now is we'll install the driver so we go to new and I already have the driver installed in here or oh, I should have the driver installed in here if I can find it maybe not but I, so let, that's fine it's not here to install at the moment which is good so I know the, the um, jar files on the system so let's go into the platform and we'll go to our software manager this takes a little bit of time to load up I'll put you on pause so you're not waiting oh no it's done it straight away and then we need to find the driver and we don't want Niagara mods and there we go these are the two here so quick link solutions see them the end trend IQRT and trend IQWB naturally they're not installed so let's install them it's also asking for some other drivers when you're installing that so N driver WB N driver RT and N driver UX so we go OK so it's picked up them and it's picked up some more these N drivers here so let's commit to that probably going to reboot itself if it does I will pause it so you're not watching it reboot that's a little bit boring oh okay well I know it's going to have to have a reboot eventually so it's there quick link solutions let's try it again because once I put the license key in there I know it will reboot itself so let's have a look for it now trend okay okay sometime today have a quick look at the uh, I've installed this many times before in the past so I'm just uh, and to have a quick look at what it says trend IQ network choose one was okay IP address port number of the trend device well, I don't have any trend devices connected to this controller at the moment via IP and so I'm just looking at all my controllers here but I don't have a trend controller here I will have one in the back somewhere that I could uh, put on the network but that's not going to be a five minute job right 
so we're still struggling there at the moment I think I need to do a reboot could not invoke the new command okay that's fine let's just do a reboot of the station so restart yeah additional permissions found for module permissions I prefer to do a reboot so I'll let that reboot itself and then I will come back to you once it's uh, rebooted so that's rebooted or rebooting at the moment it's loaded the end driver see this here out of date module added the end driver dot RT so it's loaded up that and we're probably already booted up now so I'm because I've got the Fox S4911 I'd have thought that we would boot it up but I was wrong again so it's doing the web server come on put you on pause okay so that's uh, started so now let's go back in config drivers error maintenance not enabled so let's go to right click that views AX property sheet and we've got to put a maintenance key in here and save it and then I know I'm going to have to reboot again but let's put an IP address of uh, a station that I know of. So I'm just looking at the um, uh, one of my sites there, which has got uh, stations on there. Um, views AX property sheet and we'll go to that one control key C it's probably not working that one though to be honest and it's using 101 save that I'm going to have to reboot again now so let's uh, reboot I'll just right click the config and action save it will save anyway but uh, let's just reboot that now restart yes I'll put you on pause while that starts up again okay so this is stations rebooted I've just named the uh, Modbus COM1 to BACnet COM2 but we're working on the trend driver anyway so the trend driver is installed and it's all working I'll show you that maintenance is active and we're going to connect now to a trend so discover uh, we want it on we don't need local LAN we just want 11 because we've got nothing locally sorry we do need that and 11 now that discover we've got a panel here so let's bring that across so there's the trend panel if we go to views AX property sheet open up that LAN 11 node 11 IQ4 and the information of that so let's go back to points let's make a new folder uh, we do sensors I only do one I'm not going to do them all sensors discover that's going to discover everything so it's learning uh, trend IQ learn the points and I want to bring across 
just the census only but there's 268 objects you can see there's digital inputs there there's the logic there functions software switches drivers knobs but I'm just going to bring in across all the sensors and that's it that's basically all the trend points into a Mac 36 NL controller well all the sensors are I and mean, then I would just make another folder for knobs and another folder for the um, switches drivers digital inputs and then I can do the graphics from this so that is it um, I don't think there's anything else to show you on this one now that's showing you how to install a trend driver thank you for watching